I'm at um, Lava Beds National Monument, I think, or at least near it. I'm at one of the entrances to Tickner Cave. This should be the third entrance down. This is a tight little entrance, but oh well. It's the closest one to me, so here I go. I'm gonna very carefully climb in here. Hopefully, carefully enough. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure it's a big cave in there. It's just getting past the entrance. A bit tricky. not to touch the ceiling or anything it has me trapped Ow. There we go. Huh. well if it was easy it'd be boring right so of course entrance is in the eye of the beholder there's some skylights here that I wouldn't personally try to climb in or out but they sure as heck are big enough Okay, I'm gonna put on my ladder or a uh, backpack. I'm gonna climb down here, hopefully. Interesting how nice and smooth the walls are. Let me, oops. There's a smooth, there's a bit of a pull off there. There's the, looks like there's at least two skylights. Whoops. Here's where I am. That's where I climbed down in between those rocks. Slightly tricky, but whatever. Interesting. It looks like the cave keeps going. It's just full of dirt. Too bad we're not allowed to get a shovel in here and dig it out, see where it goes. But anyway, wow, nice flow marks there. There's a lot of natural light here. Oops. Yeah, I better leave it on for now. It's prettier, I think, with natural light, but I want to make sure I can see my feet. They're nice feet. All right, here we go. Lots of water in here, liquid water. Well, there's just tiny traces of ice or snow left over. I mean, obviously there's a small pile of snow there. Gonna pan up. So there's a skylight, at least 15 feet in diameter, or at least 20 feet up. Obviously I'm not gonna get it in or out that way. Probably some people have just to say they've done it, but I don't know, I need a slightly better reason. Anyway. Last time I came here, there was a lot more snow and ice. I don't remember if I saw any bats. Looks like there's a trail to the left. Normally we should stay on the trail, but I want to go up here to the right. I want to go up on top. Oops. Man, uneven footing. Very interesting. Yeah, last time I was here, I climbed up on all these little balconies, I think, look around, but it's all sorts of snow and stuff in the way. Now it's a bit different. This is more like a natural bridge or arch right there. That's really cool. Just a few inches of snow underneath. Oh, wow. Oops. Footing is uneven here. Check it out. There's like a skylight, just one foot wide, a few feet long. You probably couldn't fit through there if you tried which of course would be a really dumb idea. But anyway, here we go. I don't remember how far this cave goes. Last time I was here was the first time I came to this cave. I found the middle before I found the ends. So I was sort of 
walking around in circles trying to figure out what the heck I'm looking at. Small balcony there. Yeah. This natural bridge is maybe 20 feet long, 20 feet wide. It's not too big. I mean, obviously plenty of natural light under it. It's a mostly sunny day. I think it's officially partly cloudy, but there's less than 10% cloud cover right now. Huh, weird. There's a bit of a hole here. Better watch my step. Huh. All sorts of nooks and crannies. Better watch where I'm going. Of course, that's usually the plan anyway. But anyway. So here we are in a trench. Collapsed trench. Obviously part of the same cave. I'm going to keep going. If I remember right, the cave does have an obvious end. Flowers are just, or uh, the plants are just starting to, you know, bud or whatever you call it, form leaves. Boy, it's a lot easier here with no snow. I came here when there was snow. It seems a bit scary. It's, it's more difficult to judge where you put your footing. Here I can see how big every rock is and I can get an estimate how uh whether it's gonna hold still or move on me when i step on it makes it a lot easier to walk around oh cool there was a lizard to my left but it hid before i got it on video you just have to take my word for it notice the uneven floor there and the balconies very interesting cave the sun is behind me i kind of like this lighting even though I'm getting a video of my shadow. Hi. Anyway. <laughs> it's like reverse groundhog day. Never let them see your shadow. Alright, anyway. It's a wet spot here. Yeah, I'm not going to try to climb up on this balcony. At least not from here. But, interesting. I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard for somebody who's properly motivated. But I'm just going to stick to the easy part of the cave right now. There is a little part up here that's hard. I might do. Last time there was icicles. I want to see if the ice is about the same or different. But first I gotta get that far. Wow, it's pretty green in here because of all the stuff growing. That's why I'm glad I'm leaving on natural light for now. Wow, this part, the cave is at least 20 feet tall ceiling. There's like a side passage up there to the left. I don't remember if I climbed up there before or not. I think it was too icy and I was scared. There's no ice in here now, so I could probably do it. I'll think about it. Like I said, I don't want to hurt myself or the cave, but I definitely wouldn't mind exploring. Okay, I'm going to have to turn on my light here because it's dark and spooky down below me the rocks to step on have been worn away so they're a bit slippery not a lot of traction I remember seeing that last time and you can see from the other side too that hole down there that tube below the tube lower level look at that there's like a little balcony or ledge there I bet I could climb up there right now if I remember right 